YouTube, Beer Game Bacon Bits, Beautiful People, your girl poet, back for another edition. I get so excited about Wednesday now. Women Crushing It Wednesdays, if you are new to this village, it is all about spotlighting a beautiful woman that's doing it 24-7, 365. This week we are in the presence of Coco Louie, blogger, event planner, radio personality, I mean podcaster. Is there anything that you don't do? I don't rescue kitties from the trees. We don't like her. <laughs> well, I'm a puppy fan, so it doesn't matter. So for those who are like the Coco Lily, they may follow you, but they may not know you. What is your mm -hmm. elevator spiel of you? If you had 10, 15, 20 seconds even to tell me about you, win me over. We ready. I'm just your favorite tomboy Barbie. I do any and everything. I crack jokes. I love corny jokes. Um, and I'm just a ball of fun. You it's a big ball are. of fun. Now, you work in radio. Yes. And then you started event planning. This is not a separation of church and state. These are just your different streams of income you're trying to yes. build up. So let's talk about radio. People are saying radio is dying, but here mm -hmm. you are with an amazing podcast. It actually pops off Wednesday nights at 9. We can talk about that in a minute. Yes. Um, why still, why? Why graduate from college and be like, I'm still going to try this journalism type thing? Well, you know, I just, I love radio. And my comm teacher told me, like, if you wake up in the morning and you have a vision or it's something that's just on your heart it doesn't matter like the amount of money that you can make from it if it's still on you and you just can't stop thinking about it that's what you're meant to do and I've had this dream since I was in eighth grade so mm. it's just there tell me one thing that was different from what you learned in your comm classes mm -hmm. to what happened when you really set foot inside a studio like on an event um it's not really too much anything different it's just it's super intense like it's more intense than what it is in a classroom so of course the studio is pretty much the same but interacting with people is always going to be different depending on the area that you're in the city that you're in your demographic that you're trying to reach everything is different and people <laughs> are characters within themselves so you mm. never know now let's talk about your podcast mm -hmm. if you want to shout out your squad and tell people to tune in i want yes that. <laughs> okay so first off we have the honest truth and that drops every other wednesday we're seasonal right now i mean every other monday we're seasonal and that's available on itunes or anything that has the rss feed it's myself and four other ladies and we give you nothing but the honest truth raw and uncut about Ciao. sex dating and relationships um i'm also on illustrate radio which talks about any and everything in entertainment politics and you know a little bit of dating here and there and that's myself as well as others and that's on every Wednesday on Bliss FM. How do you juggle all that? Like how do you work and then we just had two podcasts mm -hmm. and we haven't even gotten into your entertainment and event <laughs> component. So time management is obviously a skill that if someone key. wants to follow in your footsteps. Very, very much so. You just a planner. I swear by a planner. So uh that's very, very important. And you just gotta really make time for everything. Like you can't overexert yourself. So know when your plate is full. And just really give your all to each and everything that you give your time to. So, speaking of your time, mm -hmm. you have an event actually coming up next week, just in time for Galentine's Day. Yes! Not your first. Can we talk about what made you want to expand into events versus Lord knows what else? You could have been hosting. You could have been doing a little bit of mm -hmm. everything. So, with events, it's really, it's not even just me doing event planning, if you will. I just wanted to do something to just add to my brand, something to, you know, as a staple to me, what I also can be known for. So, I had my first event, which was in December. It was a toy drive. It was my ugly sweater happy hour. That was cool. And so, now, this is Love, Chill, and Spill. And it's just a place where, you know, everybody can mix and mingle. It's not for single folk. Not just for single folk. If you're married or you're in a relationship, come. If you're in a complicated situation, come. You may find somebody to uncomplicate your situation and you know if you single ready to mingle then you know this is cute for you too if you want to know if i'm going to be in the building i will she's going to be there my <laughs> hair will be fresh and my curls will be popping okay um if you could give advice to young people in the generations coming after you mm -hmm. i always believe in getting to your elders and really speaking into them maybe it's a lesson that you learned mm -hmm. even if it was the hard way yeah or something that you might have just learned last week. Mm -hmm. If you were sitting in front of a crowd of graduating comm students, what would your advice to them be based on what you've experienced thus far? If you are in radio for many, you're in the wrong business. You are in the wrong business. You have Ooh. to be in radio for the love of radio and to just really stay focused and just tune everything out. Like It's hard because when you're a creative, you have... I went to a, a panel discussion and Amanda Seals was speaking and she was like, there are two types of people. There are people that see colors 
And then there are people that see numbers. And so people that just see numbers, it's nothing wrong with them. They're just, you know, but people who see colors, you know, it's not just yellow. Sometimes it may be marigold or it may be like high yellow or whatever, but your mind is different. So it's like sometimes people can't understand what you see and it's your job to paint the picture for them. Because if they saw it, then they would have that vision. It's mm. not for them. You have to show them. And even if they can't see it right away, it doesn't mean that you stop. You just keep going. And then in time, if they really rock with you, then they're like, oh, I get what you was doing. Oh, okay. Mm. That's why my favorite color has always been glitter. This has <laughs> been another edition of Women Crushing It Wednesdays. How can we pour into you? Where can we find you? Coco mm -hmm. Louie, because we want to make sure that we pour into you, plant seeds. So, uh, you know. Yes, you guys can follow your favorite tomboy Barbie on Instagram. It's the Coco underscore Louie. That's T H E C O C O underscore L O U I E. And Twitter and Lee Snap Snap, if you still use that, it's Coco underscore Louie. I don't have a Facebook. And if you have my number, then just hit me in real life. And there you have it. This is a woman that's crushing it, not just today, but every day. You know, adult one, you know how to get at me. It's WPGC 95.5.